So, I'm going to take some time to share just a little bit of my thoughts about what's going on in my life. Um, I've been quarantined now for like freaking, I don't know, it feels like a month. <clears throat> um, I also have other new things going on in my life. I have new relationships. I have new projects. Um, life is just never changing or never not changing. You know, there's always change in life. Um, just when I think I get a hold of taking care of my home and my grass and things like that, um, something new pops up and needs my attention or, um, yeah, just puts a wrench in things and it like throws me all off track again. Um, you know, um, my yard right now for some reason is just growing really fast. I just mowed it yesterday and it's literally two inches taller. Like I'm not kidding. It's two inches taller. Um, <laughs> and I use a push mower to, to mow it. Um, when you're sick with the coronavirus, your energy isn't always there, right? Um, so I've been using little bits of my energy to try to maintain my house and things like that normally. Um, I've also been doing odd jobs um, because I can't go into work because I'm a nurse. Um, and obviously I have to remain symptom free for at least 72 hours before I can be out of the quarantine so everything I've been doing has luckily I'm able to get outside and do things um and I've been able to get outside and have sunshine and th stuff like that but everything that I've been able to do has to be either with the person slash people I'm quarantined with which is my daughter and Andy um or by myself and luckily, um, luckily I have been quarantined with someone, um, who's fun and who, you know, whatever, who's easy to get quarantined with. Um, and for that I do feel thankful. I've also been blessed to have the ability to kind of, sort of work, um, not necessarily, um, for like a paycheck each week or anything like that, but I've been able to get things done um, <laughs> um, while being quarantined that will eventually, hopefully have a return on the time that we've put into them. Um, yeah. Um, I've been able to get outside and I have my garden and I'm so thankful for it. And it's absolutely so beautiful, but, um, it definitely is challenging. Like, having so many changes in life all the time. Um, just when I start to think that I, you know, have a good routine going with work or, you know, my health, um, life upsets something, you know? Just when my anxiety about, you know, the whole coronavirus thing goes away and I sort of semi feel comfortable going out in stores wearing masks and stuff like that. Actually, I never felt comfortable doing that, but um, then I get sick and I'm the one that's like forced to protect everybody else and my anxiety goes up again because it's like, okay, I, I have to protect all these other people. Um, and I guess I'm just not really settled on my thoughts with everything. And that's the hardest part about it is the constant back and forth of <coughs> um, feeling secure in life and then not feeling secure in life. And I know that I need to just ground myself in, like, the Holy Spirit and in God and things like that because ultimately, like, that's where my source of peace and comfort needs to come from. But the world can definitely make life feel unstable um, even if we are stable and secure within ourselves and with our relationship with God like life still can make things feel crazy um, so that's just kind of where I'm at today and I don't know who to vent to I don't I I, uh, I get insecure about venting to people about where I'm at in life because um, freak I, I feel like it's not always the same thing I feel like 
sometimes I can vent and think I'm super positive and this is where I know I'm going with my life. I know, you know, what I want to do. And then, or I can even have a plan. And then, you know, some things throw it off and, um, you know, all my plans are kind of changed. Um, and I guess it's just right now I'm learning to live in the constant back and forth. Um, and I'm learning to, I guess somehow just be okay with not having stability in my life. Um, not knowing whether or not I'm selling the house or whether I'm fixing it up for myself. That's a huge thing. Um, not knowing whether or not the new relationship I have in my life is going to be here to stay or if I should even plan things around that relationship. Um, because it, it's hard when you have relationships in your life and um, you just, you want to mold that person into your life. You want, I've wanted for such a long time to just have a family. A family, a husband and kids, someone I can grow old with. Like, I've just wanted that. And um, so when I find someone who I think is great, you know, I go through all the steps that you have to go through. I have all the hard discussions. Um, and um, thus far, nothing has stuck permanently. Um, but each time I go through this, it's a new step of faith of, okay, um, I guess here we go again. Um, here's, here's another chance, another opportunity that you have. Um, you can either take it or leave it or guard yourself. Um, and sometimes I feel like who, who am I? Who would I be to, ugh, there's definitely a bug in my hair. Mm. <laughs> Where is it? I think I got it. <laughs> okay. But who am I to, you know, um, to be like, no, I'm finally done trying. Um, like, if that's what I want in life, is a family, is, you know, a husband, a relationship, Every time a new relationship fails, like, I can either get back up on my feet and keep trying again with a new relationship, or, um, or I can put on this bitter coat and guard myself and be like, nope, I'm not gonna try to be in another relationship again. I'm gonna take time to heal. But it's like, what the heck? What's gonna heal me? Being by myself? I don't want... I've done that whole thing where I... I'm going to tan while I'm talking to you. I've done that whole thing where I've become so independent that I don't need anybody. And I don't need anybody. And I posted a couple weeks ago about how, like, I don't need anyone in my life. That's the thing. <clears throat> I am independent enough where, like, I don't. I don't need anyone. But I want someone in my life. And that's, I'm just, I'm at this spot where it's like, gosh, I keep trying um, and it's not, it's not even the person, um, or people. It's now come to this point where it's like, it's me and it's breaking past the stage of like trusting if this is going to stick or if I should put my time and energy into this. And, um, I know this is completely all jumbled and I might not post this, um, but this is just where my head is at right now. And if it's hard to follow, <laughs> then yeah, that makes sense because my brain feels hard to follow right now. Um, I once again, don't expect anyone to listen to this or <laughs> respond or anything. <laughs> Um, but this, the reason I'm even making this video is because I feel like I have a whole bunch of stuff jumbled up inside me and in my head and I don't know who to talk to. And, um, and I just want to get it out. And I want to do it for me. 
and I want to get better at being vulnerable with my emotions and with my feelings and with what's going on in my head because I need to learn that there are people out there that want to know what's going on in my head. I'm seeing that. I mean, Andy definitely has been good at like letting me know that he cares what's going on in my head, even if it's a weird freaking process. Um, Paul definitely is always there for me <laughs> to vent to. Um, I have people in my life that I know, you know, obviously my mom is like always there for me. Um, but um, I, I still am so guarded. Um, and I know that it comes from just some of the abusive relationships that I've been in and, um, just even some of the not very healthy relationships that I've been in. Um, but yeah, this is just me once again posting to try to get my thoughts out, um, in, yeah, in an external way. So that I can either watch it and see what the heck's going on in my brain. Um, maybe just so that I can create a video diary and a log of, like, life. Um, so that maybe in ten years, hopefully when I get my life together, um, I can look back in this and be like, wow. Yeah, her brain was a little bit scattered, but <laughs> look, look where I am now, you know, or something. Um, I'm just really trying so hard to not be apologetic for being me because as people have told me, supposedly, <laughs> I am lovable, I'm worthy, I'm a daughter of God. Like these are things that I like supposedly try to claim and know in my life. Um, but like I do get in my head and, um. Especially just during changing times in my life or freaking downtime in my life, too. Um, I feel pressured to be able to explain what I'm thinking or feeling when sometimes I don't have a conclusive answer or know what the frick it is I'm thinking or feeling. Sometimes I know what I'm thinking or feeling, but I don't want to admit to it. Um, so I'm just trying to create this, like, safe little life for myself where, I don't know, I have, like, one or two people that I can share my genuine thoughts with. Um, or at least... Right now, it's even down to just, Kayla, can you be honest with yourself about what you're thinking or feeling? And um, so in a way, I guess I'm taking this video to try to force myself, because this is very uncomfortable for me, um, to talk out loud um, and explain things in a way that could make sense in a possible way to someone else. Um, I have my conversations with God, but those are just a whole lot different. Um, he's always been there for me. He will always be there for me. I don't have to explain or catch him up on life. I can literally just start in the middle of a, any situation and just be like, oh yeah, you saw that too? Like, yep, yeah, I'm going to have an issue with that or help me you know, like literally, and I don't have to explain, I don't have to say like who it is. Oh, there's a fly on my phone. Who it is that I have something that I need to figure out there. I, like my relationship with God is literally just so amazing and it, it's awesome because it's there, but it sucks because literally no other relationship will ever compare to it. Um, I will always have to explain myself to other people. Um, I will always have to take time and energy to try to communicate effectively with people in my life. With God, he doesn't 
he already knows what's going on in my heart and in my head and um and that's the beauty of that relationship it's absolutely beautiful and absolutely wonderful and I know for a fact that I'm loved by him it's people that challenge me relationships that challenge me um and new ones especially every new relationship it's like I have to start over and explain myself to this new person again and um I'm not giving up on trying to like have relationships in my life or trying to find new people um the biggest thing is you know I want that person that's going to be stable and constant in my life in the temporal sense is in like this this world um But like, like I said, like I haven't been able to find that stability and that constant companionship. Um, and it's hard. Um, part of me thinks that it definitely has something to do with me and that uh, either I'm scared of being vulnerable and letting someone into my life permanently or maybe it's because I'm too judgmental. Maybe it's because... I, like, I don't know. I don't want to attach myself to someone permanently because I'm scared. I literally, I know that that's part of it. Like, I'm scared. I'm absolutely scared. Um, Um, and I know this isn't pretty, I know this is frustrating to process for myself, um, and it's not fun or entertaining for people to, like, listen to, um, I guess maybe I shouldn't keep talking like that, maybe I should be more confident in just getting out what I want to say, but that's why I'm doing this, is because I am trying to learn confidence in just speaking what's on my mind. Um, And I know that this isn't a discussion, so this probably isn't the healthiest way to do it either, because this is just me venting. This isn't me having a relationship or a discussion with anyone. But... And it might even be putting bad practices into place because I'm not learning to pause and listen. Um, But it's at least an attempt to be vulnerable and get out what's going on in my head. So I think for now, that's where I'll end it. uh, Just because I know this is getting long and... um, I'm not really finding, like, a conclusion in my thoughts. Um, so I'm going to go back to God. Maybe exercise a little bit. We'll see. Maybe I'll make some videos about my flowers because they are beautiful. They really are. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I might actually do some yard work. I have a couple of hostas that I need to plant. Um, so I'll probably do that. And, yeah, just try to find some um, clarity in my brain. Uh, So, yeah. If any of you guys do watch this, thanks, I guess. (laughs) Um, If you do, and you, like, listen to the whole thing, uh, give me your thoughts. Because I guess I am sort of interested in, like, what people think. Um, Is this a healthy way to learn sort of how to be vulnerable is this something you think I should keep doing was this absolutely incredibly horribly like frustrating to watch or listen to or heck was it 
entertaining and and I being not entertaining but was it like worth it for you guys to listen to or like do you does anyone should anyone care about what's going on in my head or, or my heart or stuff like that I guess um I don't know um Yeah, because right now, uh, something about just where I'm at right now, I feel that, like, not that I'm not lovable in general as a person, but just that right now it's not okay for me to be me. It's not okay for me to be where I'm at right now. That's, that's how I feel. That's a pretty good conclusion to sum up what I'm feeling right now. Um, and I guess it's just in these moments of, like, not being able to freaking get out, like, what's in my brain. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, <laughs> and I'm literally trying to do the best I can right now. Oh, sometimes I can be so good at making a point and making a clear statement of this is how I feel and this is, you know... And sometimes I can be so good at being positive or sometimes I can be so good at just clearly identifying my hurt and frustration. But right now, I, um, there's just a lot going on. Um, and there's not really like one thing to focus it in on. And because of that, I'm feeling like that's not okay like I feel like I need to be able to communicate what's going on inside of me and um I don't know maybe that's just because I've had certain people in my life that get sick of me saying the words I don't know you know I've definitely had people in my life say that um but then I read books about communication and things like that that say it's okay to say I don't know if you don't know you know how are you feeling I don't know how do you feel about this I don't know I don't know yet is it okay for me to not know (laughs) oh man um Is it okay for me to just want to entertain myself, too? Like, is that okay? Um, So that I don't get bored? So that I don't go to bad mental spots in my head or in life? So that I don't make bad decisions? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to try to be some... person that does podcasts or you know it's great to listen to preachers that are motivational and tell you what you should do and things like that I guess this is just me giving anyone who wants to listen um maybe just An example of how someone else's brain works so that they, if anyone else feels like this ever, um, whether they have mental illness um, or not, I've definitely been diagnosed with a couple of different things in different time periods of my life. Um, <clears throat> um, been diagnosed with ADHD, ADD, I've had traits of borderline personality disorder at one time. Um, a psychologist or a psychiatrist thought that I was, um, manic or bipolar, or sorry, bipolar one with severe mania. And I mean, all those different things like factor into life. Um, heck, I was just happy to be in the hospital at one point because I was sick of being in abusive relationships and, um, I probably was a little manic. I probably was a little happy that I was in the hospital in a safe spot. 
knowing that I was going to have somewhere to live for the next six months. Um, with stability. Um, but yeah, I guess I know that people struggle with all sorts of mental illnesses. Some people aren't diagnosed. Some people don't even freaking see the doctor ever. Ever. Like, literally ever. Um, and I guess I just want to put this out there for anyone. I don't know. Anyone can use this for whatever they want. If you're a doctor and you think you can diagnose me with something <laughs> based on this video, or if you're just another fellow person who's been abused and your thoughts kind of go to a lot of different places sometimes, or um, if you're just anyone that can relate to me who's like, dude, you're just having normal thoughts, everyone has things like this, <clears throat> um, let me know, let me know what you think, uh, cause I'm curious, uh, I'll end it with that, such a beautiful day.